Hello and welcome to Mint Talk India. We are going to do workbook solutions for NCERT class 5th EVS chapter 7 experiments with water. Let's see our questions. Question number 1 fill in the blanks. Number 1 a needle sinks in water. Number 2 dead sea is the saltiest sea in the world. Number 3 honey is thick and flows slower than water. Number 4 British put tax on salt. Number 5. Sea water is used to make salt. Question 2. True or false? Number 1. A flat dough will float on oil whereas puffed puri sink in it. That is false. Number 2. Soap and soap case both float in water. That is false. Soap will sink whereas soap case will float. Number 3. All oceans and seas have salty water. That is true. Number 4. A person cannot get drowned in dead sea. That is true. Number 5. Things once dissolved in water cannot be separated again? No, that is false. Number 6. Oil flows faster than water? That is false. Number 7. The amount of water will reduce after heating it for a long time? That is true. Number 3. Multiple choice type question. Which of the following sinks in water? Pin, eraser, coin, all of these will sink in water. Number 2. Which of the following gets dissolved in water? Only mystery will get dissolved in water. Number 3. While preparing tea, which of the following does not get completely dissolved in water? That is tea leaves. It will not get completely dissolved and we have to strain it. Number 4. Which of the following can be separated from water by straining with a cloth? We can separate only chalk powder. Number 5. In which year did Gandhiji go on a dandy march? In the year 1930. Number 6. Gandhiji went on Dandi March Yatra from Ahmedabad to Dandi Seashore. Question 4. What will happen if we put a raw egg in a glass filled with ordinary water? The egg will sink at the bottom of the glass. Question 2. What will happen if we put a raw egg in a glass filled with salty water? The egg will start to float on water. Number 3. If we pour some water and oil into a jar, what will happen? The oil will float on top of the water. And what will happen if we vigorously mix water and oil in a jar? After we let it stand for some time, small oil droplets will start to float on top of water. Next question. Why a person will continue to float in the Dead Sea even if he does not know swimming? Because the amount of salt in Dead Sea is very high, which makes the Dead Sea very thick making everything to float on it. Question 2. Why do clothes dry faster on a sunny day than on a cloudy day? On a sunny day, sun is very bright and evaporation is faster, while on a cloudy day, the rate of evaporation is slow. Where does the water from clothes go when they are dried in sun? Name this process. The water from our clothes evaporates and turn into vapors. This process is called evaporation. Why did Mahatma Gandhi undertake the Dandi March? Before independence, British had made a law that didn't allow Indians to make salt for themselves. And there was also heavy tax on salt. To break this law, Gandhiji undertook Dandi Yatra. Sharmila put two drops of groundnut oil, sugar solution and water on a stainless steel plate. She tilted the plate and found that some drops slide down quickly, whereas some lagged behind. Which drop will slide down faster? Drops of water will slide down faster, as it is very thin liquid. Which drop slide down slowest and why? Oil drop will slide down the slowest, as it will stick to the surface of the steel plate. Next question. Write the objects given in the box in two types. Objects that sink in water. Objects will be pebbles, soap, nail, spoon, bottle full of water. These all things will sink in water. And the objects that will float in water, they are leaf, ice, aluminium foil, feather, pencil, bottle cap, empty plastic bottle and paper. How can you separate the following things? Salt from water by evaporation. If we boil a solution of salt and water, the water will evaporate and the salt will be left at the bottom. This is how the salt is prepared by evaporating the sea water. How will we separate chalk powder from water? We will use filtration method. 
we will filter it with a cloth how will we separate tea leaves from water again we will use filtration and the tool which we use is called a sieve we will filter with a sieve we how will we separate how we will separate mud from water we will leave the mud to settle down for some time and slowly filter it water is called a universal solvent because it can dissolve many substance in it encircle the thing given below which can dissolve in water so in water we can dissolve coffee powder and make coffee we can dissolve honey we can dissolve flour detergent disprin ice black salt and fruit juice mud mud will not get dissolved it will settle down in water butter will float on water pepper will also float on water and cotton will also float on water name two factors that help the things above dissolve faster so to dissolve anything faster we can stir the liquid very fast or you can powder it if it is a solid and we can also heat the liquid to dissolve the things faster in it this is how we end our workbook hope you like it we will meet very soon with our next chapter workbook solutions stay tuned to our channel thank you very much thanks for watching and do like share subscribe our channel mint talk india for more upcoming videos